384, Shuffle and Array. I'll summarize it for you guys. And before watching this, you might want to put it in a faster playback speed. OK, so we're tasked to create three um, things, basically. Uh, a constructor function, a reset, and a shuffle. Um, the constructor function is pretty easy. Um, so the class, it creates a, an instance of, the, of an object, a solution object, and it takes in a number array and it assigns it to this.nums. So the instance will have uh, a nums property. So for example, when you do, let's say, let's call it my object, call the instance my object and you instantiate it with the constructor function that we created and then initialize it with this one two three numbers array that goes into here and that goes into the instance it gets assigned to the instance of that my object All right easy and then what reset does um because we're gonna shuffle it, we're gonna jumble it. And then when we do, for example, let's call, let's assign it to X. Uh, so my, my object dot reset takes in no arguments. Um, it just returns the original uh, array that you gave it. So X becomes this array. And then for the third, if you call my object dot shuffle, it just, what this returns is just a shuffling of that. So it could be maybe something like that. Okay, that's what Y will be. Okay, this is pretty easy. Um, you just return this, um, but for the shuffling, so the idea is we copy the original array because if we try to, um, if we just assign it to nums without like, without the spread operator and then the array, if we assign it directly to this nums, then it'll be the exact same pointer to the original this nums. And we don't want that because we're going to modify this temp nums. And if we modify it, uh, we're going to modify this dot nums and we won't be able to reset it. So that's why we just make a copy. And this is the shortest syntax to make a copy of an array. We spread it out. So like we spread, we spread it out and then we, we put it in its own array. So that's what spread does and then put it in its own array. That's temp nums. So temp nums will be, for example, this. Um, and then shuffled nums. And uh, initialize it with an empty array. So the idea is so these are the indexes, right? We generate a random index from zero to one, zero to two. Let's say it was one delete that with splice and then add it to shuffled nums. And then until this is empty, we do it again, generate a random number, uh, delete and then add, and then generate a random number and then just return shuffled nums. But I'll, I'll walk through it more in detail. So math.random, uh, generates a number from 0 to 0.999. And so that's not the index. We want it in index form. So, so if we multiply it by 3, which is the length of temp nums, um, it'll, it'll result in a random number from uh, 0 to 1.999 but we don't want decimals for an index, right? So we floor that. So 
when we floor it, it'll be a random number from, uh, oh, this is actually two. It'll be a random number from zero to two, okay? Right, because if you multiply like the upper bound, it'll be 2.999 if you multiply by three, which is the length. And then, so that's random number. And then what splice does is takes that random number as the target. So let's say the random number was one. So it takes it um, as target deletes one, the second argument. So splice temp num, so it deletes it and it returns that an array of that deleted. And so we want to add this to the shuffled nums, but it's an array form. So we spread it out again, we remove it from the array and now it's over here, okay? Because if we didn't spread it, it would look like that and we don't want that. Push to shuffle nums. And then, so, so when we sl splice it, uh, this, the index of this moves, so it becomes one. So now there's still a length to the temp nums too. So if we math random uh, temp nums length, which is two, it'll generate a number from zero to uh, point, uh, 1.9, is it? Yeah, 1.9. And then we floor that, uh, it results in a number of zero to one. Let's say it, it was one this time. So target one, remove it, uh, splice, remove it from its array. So splice and then push it to shuffled nums. And then again, length is now one. So generate a number it'll always be zero. So that, do that again, and then just return that. And for, let's see how well I did first, before I go into the time complexity. All right, faster than 48%, takes less space than 40%. Now it's worse, one more time. So um, in terms of, oh man, that's bad. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I guess um, this is like a simple, there's probably more efficient methods, but this is probably the most intuitive method. Well, the first time it was 40%, so it really fluctuates. Um, time complexity. Uh, so this, uh, this is constant time since we're just assigning to the pointer of nums, right? This is constant time because we're just returning it. Spread operator is n time. So the bigger our uh, number array is, the more time it'll take to spread it out, spread it out, spread it out from it, the original array and then wrap it in its own array. So that takes n times. This is constant time since we were just initializing it. This one repeats n times. So, uh, so all of this inside will repeat n times, right? Um, so we multiply n. So, we multiply n to what, whatever's inside. And generating a random number, a random index is constant time. Um, and then splicing. So splice takes n times. So, so let, let's say we get unlucky and we generate the first one. So this will shift, this will shift, this will shift until n minus one times, it'll shift. Because if 
it's n, um, it'll shift n minus one times, right? This will shift, this will shift. Um, and uh, let's see. But the next time around, um, there is gonna be one less, right? So, and then let's say worst case, we get unlucky again and the random number is zero. So we shift everything, but it'll, sh it'll shift by uh, N minus two because we already removed that and that. And then the next time will be N minus three. So basically we can remove this since the, it's constant. Um, and so it should take, so N times N, like it takes N times each, N times. So the time complexity of this line will be N squared. Um, this spread, you're only spreading one digit in each time, just that one um, number you deleted. So that's constant time. Pushing, when you push to the end of the ray, nothing else changes. So that's constant time. And returning is constant time. So the time complexity of shuffle would be n squared, which is the highest order variable. In terms of space complexity, um, it depends how you define the space, but if you're looking at additional space, it's of zero of constant because this is just a pointer to this array. But if you're including the in input, then the space that's needed would be the space of the input. Uh, this is constant. You're just returning. Uh, temp nums gets bigger as the input gets bigger. So if your original array was super long, it'd be super long. If it was super small, it'd be super small. Mm -hmm. And then what, then shuffle, uh, temp nums just puts it into shuffle. So these two together would be N, whatever the size of the input is. And then random index is just a constant. It's just one num random number, random index. And this is, we're just adding to the, this shuffle and then we're just returning. So that's constant. So O of N would be, uh, o, uh, uh, space complexity would be O of N. All right, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, bye.